Here in Puerto Rico, I heard about three friends who are all photographers and occasionally they go out together and they take pictures at the same time. But what made their story interesting is that each one of them specializes in a completely different genre of photography. Big thanks to Combin for sponsoring this video. If you've got an Instagram, you're probably trying to expand your reach. You want those follows, those likes. This software can help you. Using Combin's app, you can search for hashtags, locations, or a combination of both. You can also search through users and filter out fake Instagram accounts or spam accounts. Without leaving Combin, you can like, comment, and follow directly from the app. Combin can help you figure out how to spend your time on Instagram to grow your reach the fastest. Head over to common.com and use the code FSTOPPERS at checkout and you'll get one month of premium service for free. So when I heard about these three photographers, I reached out and asked if I could film a video about them. They decided on an interesting location to shoot and we all met up one day at this amazing beach location. Well, my name is Los Noel. I'm a landscape long exposure photographer. My name is Jose Almodovar and I am a macro photographer. My name is Tommy Del Valle. I'm an aerial photographer from Puerto Rico. We are in Mar Chiquita, in Manatí, Puerto Rico. Jose's macro photography is incredible. He said his favorite camera is a micro four thirds camera. Shooting on that smaller sensor helps him deal with that really shallow depth of field. And he also loves the stabilization that the Olympus camera has. He can shoot almost everything completely handheld. This is the Olympus 60 millimeter 2.8 macro. This is a Rhinox 250. And with this accessory, I can get 2.5x more of magnification. Now lighting wise, he had a really interesting setup as well. He had this handmade softbox that lit up this piece of foam that went over the lens. This setup created really soft, but still natural looking light and he could shoot at any time of day. Good thing about macro photography is when other photographers need to wait for a good light, I have my good light here. Finding an interesting bug or subject was the hardest part, but once he did, he had his lighting locked in and his photos looked awesome directly out of the camera. This is the life of a macro photographer, searching and searching. We found this little box. Now, Tommy shoots all sorts of things, but he specializes in drone photography and videography. And I had seen his work before, and I certainly expected him to be shooting with a larger drone like the Inspire. Today, I'm gonna be specifically shooting a photo with the Mavic 2 Pro. The good thing about the Mavic is the size. It's so portable. It's not like those uh, big drones that you, have. You, you need a huge backpack to carry them around. With this, I can just put them on my pocket and you know be ready for the action. If you are doing long exposure, the best thing to do will be to set your drone to tripod mode, just because it limits the, the movement of the drone and it gets more stable. But if you're not doing long exposure, then if you have a high enough shutter, you can get some sharp images. Now I've taken lots of drone photos and videos in the past and I have a tendency to shoot like I would with a camera but Tommy has started to specialize in straight down aerial photography. And I have to say his work really stands out. I'm shooting right now at F4, 130 of a shutter. This location at the beach was perfect for Tommy because he had so many different things that he could shoot. There were rocks and a cove and big waves. And then of course, because he had a drone, he could fly the drone really far away and get other shots that were in completely different locations, but everything that Tommy was shooting looked awesome. Now, 
Now, Lasker is a very well-known landscape photographer who specializes in extremely long exposure shots. The long exposures allo allows me to uh, minimize and smooth out the uh, distractions and just give a cleaner shot of the area with uh, my own twist. His gear was probably the most impressive. He was shooting with a Fujifilm GFX 50S. He had a Canon tilt shift lens with neutral density filters. I had to put this little microfiber cloth around it because every time I shift, there's always some light, light leaks and they will ruin the shot. The contrast goes down, so I have to block it. And uh, this actually worked out pretty good. So it blocks any straight light from coming in between the adapter or the openings from the shift of the lens. Because I'm exposing for two minutes right now, it just any kind of light will just try to creep in and it will just ruin the shot. Out of all three of the photographers, Lasker had to be the most patient because he figured out exactly what he wanted to shoot and then he just sat there and waited for hours for the light to get good. Sun is a little harsh now. I think we got another 45 minutes before it goes down to my liking and uh, hopefully we'll work out. So right now to get a, tw a two minute shot exposure, I'm using F8 at uh, ISO 100 and I have a 12 stop um, height of filter. So it's just cutting the light by 12 stops, but I have to compensate pretty quick because the light is going down fast. So this filter will be useless pretty soon. So I'm gonna, I may have to switch to a 10 stop. Then as the light keeps going down, I will have to go to a six stop and uh, to get the same amount of, uh, the same exposure between shots. So I'm shifting one shot for the sky and another one for the foreground so I can combine them together and get a little panorama. Now, Oscar took a two second exposure of the sky, then he shifted down, got a one second exposure of the water, combined them together, and of course, the picture looks awesome. I think we all have a tendency as photographers to congregate with our own kind. And so landscape photographers might go out and take pictures together or portrait photographers might join up and get one model and take pictures of the exact same model. But this was the first time, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it was the first time I've ever been with a group of photographers who went to the same location and walked away with completely different looking images. So I have known Jose and Tommy for, I don't know, man, Jose for seven years and Tommy for the last three or four years. But we can be see, uh, standing next to each other and we, we all get a different shot. That's uh, the beauty of it. We all have different visions, different goals, and uh, we can go home and share what, uh, what we see. For more content just like this, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you'd like to check out our full length photography tutorials, check out fstoppers.com slash store. Thank you.